don't you love it when your recording just completely breaks and uh, your microphone stops recording your audio and ruins your recording completely? Yeah. All right, what's going on, guys? Cool, here back again with another video up on the channel today. Uh, we're gonna be going over the third anniversary reveals and stuff. So I was doing a reaction video for this, uh, and I did record it, but. For some reason, my microphone decided to be funny and stop recording my, uh, my, you know, my voice, obviously, my audio. So, we're back here again. We're just gonna do, just cover some of the stuff that goes on here. I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything. I'm not gonna re-react to it, because at that point, I wouldn't be able to give you my pure reaction, for sure. We're just gonna go through some of the stuff that they, you know, talked about. Mainly just a couple of the events, obviously, the new characters and all that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to look down below if you do. Make sure to sub to the channel, hit the notification bell to never miss out on upload. Also, check out my second channel, link down below. I do upload skits there as well as I do plan to upload animations. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, make sure to check it out. And oh, okay, let us hop into uh, the breakdown of everything that just happened during the third year anniversary. So, or the reveals and stuff. All right, so the main things I want to cover is basically like the first part. They just go through some events. We're basically getting a uh free ticket summon banner basically in total we'll be able to do a total of 333 consecutive summons for free so they're gonna be giving out like 111 summon tickets like at certain points during the anniversary up to three times which will obviously equate to a total of 333 obviously the three meaning for three years obviously and then in terms of the next thing yeah we have this anniversary raid so basically it's just a set of uh raid boss events or co-op raid events whatever you want to call them for five weeks straight which means we're going to be getting five uh raid bosses back to back to back to back so it's actually going to be pretty good because that means we'll potentially be able to get a ton of rewards and it's going to be a good bit of content from that just alone and then we have this right here, this Hoi Poi coins. I don't know why they called it that, but okay. But basically with this, you can, it's basically like a summoning system, but not for characters. You basically just get items, I'm assuming like uh, these like soul coins, rare metals, Z power. Uh, I think these are like the equipment, like fragments, or like equipment awakening. I think these are the like uh, uh, platinum coins, I think this is. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I mean, and there's also missions, apparently, I believe, that you can get, like, multi, like Legends of Limited Multi-Z Power and all stuff, so... Quite interesting. And then the main stuff I want to talk about is there's obviously a login bonus, there's the champion bonuses coming back, you get up to a total of 1,000 crystals from it, so that's pretty nice. Shenron is finally coming back, obviously, it's been a thing where every year he comes back obviously just like in the show so he's coming back so we'll be able to get you know he'll be able to grant us another wish of course hey what you want for a wish also chance time is coming back where basically it's just like last year last year i'm gonna be honest i did not understand how it worked i don't think a lot i think a lot of people were also in the same boat that they just didn't understand like how it worked i don't even know who won the prizes or anything i just don't know but basically here how it works is we get these tickets and we can like exchange like numbers or whatever and then obviously one like certain of these numbers will be the winning numbers and if you pick them you get you know rewards basically that's pretty, it's basically a lottery now this <laughs> basically it's an event where you can get this guy for free now obviously uh, I don't know why out of now, out of nowhere, that we give this guy specifically for free. He's a sonable character and they're giving him for free. So, what I'm suspecting is, and they, I, I think, uh, like, they even talk about it a little bit here. Yeah. Oh, does that mean he'll be able to get a Zenkai Awakening? Look at the face that Toshi makes. You can't tell me that that doesn't mean that he's not gonna get a Zenkai. He's getting a Zenkai. So, seems like this Gogeta most likely will be getting a Zenkai, which I... I'm definitely quite excited for that. Ice Shenron is blue. He's a range type. Uh, while on the battlefield, he seals enemy strike guards when the enemy switches characters. Every time when faced with an enemy, so that means either when he switches in or he, the enemy switches, he inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade, damage received up, so he makes the enemy take more damage. He reduces the enemy's key, and he increase their sub count as well and inflicts he also uh reduces their vantage gauge recovery okay interesting 
Uh, and then when he activates his main ability, he reduces enemy's vanish gauge to zero. Oh, I did not see that. Okay. And restores own key by 50 and shortens allied tag GT sub counts and draws a blue card. So obviously, he wants to be ran on GT mainly. Of course, it makes sense. Uh, and then we have, yeah, so when green, when, basically when his green card activates, he reduces damage received and destroys all your enemy's special move, awaken and ultimate arts cards. Counter activate upon enemies tap attack, tackle, or strike arts. So it's a counter, okay. It makes sense, I guess. Uh, and then when counter activates, immobilize the enemy and increase own damage inflicted and increases next special move damage inflicted. And then Z ability level 3, so it's at 6 stars. He buffs GT, blast attack, and defense, and, in and also uh strike attack for shadow dragon so obviously shadow dragon are gonna be gt so they're basically getting all three buffs so finally we're getting double buffers for gt so that's always nice to see nova shenron is a yellow unit he is a melee type his green card can nullify enemy attack so obviously it's a barrier he can combo off of it and he restores key increases strike damage inflicted when upon like activation or like if you land it or something i don't know and then his main ability inflicts all allies and enemies with no switching and restores own vanish gauge by 100% increases damage inflicted and destroys all of your own and enemies cards and increases own card draw speed so basically what he does is like he puts you like a fairish like 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 playing field where he destroys both your cards and the opponent's cards but then he gets his vanish back he locks the enemy, he, he locks you and your opponent in for a certain amount of time, and you get card draw speed, and he also gets damage. I have to see the main ability in action to s determine whether or not it's actually a good main ability, but it seems pretty solid for sure. And then we have this part where he gets 10% strike damage for the per Dragon Ball you possess, so it's kind of similar to uh, Omega Shenron, how he gets stronger the, uh, depending on the amount of Dragon Balls you have. Also, I think the red Dragon Ball Super Broly movie Frieza has an ability like that. And then also, according to the number of timer counts elapsed in the battlefield, so basically he wants to stay on the field for a while, which you can probably do with his uh, his green card, also his main ability, restoring Vanish and all that. So three counts elapsed, he increased damage inflicted. Five counts elapsed, he gets card draw speed. And eight counts elapsed, he gets 50 key. So it's nice. And then his Z ability at level three, he gets, uh, so basically has six stars. He gets, uh, he buffs GT, strike attack and defense, increase shadow dragon, blast defense. So that's pretty much it for now with the GT stuff. And then we get to, <laughs> The, uh, definitely the more exciting portion of uh, the characters they are showing off here. We have a brand new Vegito Blue, a standalone Vegito Blue. I actually thought they were going to do a transforming Vegito Blue, uh, but they just decided to go with another standalone Vegito Blue. A new Kefla. Uh, interesting shot you have there, by the way. So yeah, we have a new Kefla, obviously new animations and all that. Quite exciting, obviously. It's nice to see another Kefla, of course. And then, of course, <laughs> LF Corrupted Zomazu. Yes, sir. Look at that boy. That boy big and strong. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So we're getting an LF Corrupted Zomazu, obviously. So let's just quickly go over their details. Let me just tell you. This, uh, Besides one other character. This is probably the main character I'm excited for, for the anniversary, just saying. And at least this time he's not an LF, like the last one, so it'll be easier to pull him, I would assume. So that's his green card, which looks so nice. Yes, yeah, so that's his blue card, Final Kamehameha again, typical, expected. He has a new strike animation, which is always nice, and ultimate with blast armor. Of course, they took the clash scene and sword. And of course, he does the final comment out again. I don't know how they managed to make Vegito Blue look better than last year. Uh, they 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 definitely knocked it out of the park with them. And just watch it. Oh my God! I saw that. Oh, we have to replay that. Hold up, we have to replay that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I've I've seen enough. All right. So obviously they have Vegito Blue doing his things again. So this is green card by the way. So it's an AOE green card. That is. Busted. And then I love how he has the aura when he attacks. And this is blue card. And also here, uh, they make the Geo Blue use the ultimate, and he actually hits it. I thought for a second that he had a revival mechanic, but he actually doesn't have a revival mechanic. 
But for a second, they had me there. They had me there for a sec. Then it's ultimate. Okay, I just noticed this, by the way. First off, look how massive this boy is. Look at that arm, by the way. But notice, no blast armor. So he doesn't have blast armor as ultimate, which is... And it's okay, I guess. But it would have been better if it had blast armor. But, I mean, this looks sick. I, I, my boy Zamazu got the combos. And then he pulls out the sword. Like, look at these combos. I'm man. Like, please teach me your ways. All right. And then he just falls. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a sick LF, obviously. That's a really... He looks awesome. And then, yeah, that, that laugh at the end. They definitely, they definitely knocked it out of the park with these characters. So, Kefla. Okay. She's a red unit melee type. When entering the battlefield, increases damage inflicted, cannot be can't or cannot be stacked. Reduces damage received, cannot be stacked, and increases key recovery. Every time this character uses a strike or blast starts, she restores key, which activates up to three times, and increases damage inflicted, activates once. And the effects do reset once she, she switches. So, basically, the, the gist of this ability here is she gets stronger per strike and blast card she uses, pretty much. And then here, every time own attack is, va is evaded with the vanish step, so basically when the enemy dodges your attack that you did with Kefla, she restores key, dam she gets damage, and she restores a portion of her for vanish gauge, which that's just stupidly broken, by the way. And actually it's twice, apparently, okay. And then randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards as well, so that, that is all one ability. That all happens when the opponent dodges her attack. That is insane. And then she also, with her main ability, she can nullify uh, special cover changes. She heals with a green card, and then her Z ability at level 3, so that's 6 stars. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. Uh, she buffs Rival Universe, Fusion Warrior, or Girls, Strike Attack, and Blast Defense. So, yeah, the attack is adept at both melee and range. She's definitely going to be doing uh, quite a bit of damage. We'll see how tanky she's going to be. I'm assuming she's probably not going to be the absolute tankiest, but... She just she does have ways of like healing and like restoring her vanish gauge and all. So she she's definitely gonna be quite a formidable character. And then the boy Vegito Blue. I don't know why I'm so excited for this guy, but let's just take a look at his typing. Purple. Finally, can we just acknowledge that Fusion Warriors have not gotten a new purple since last year? So obviously. Vegito Blue being purple is a good color for him because Fusion Warriors really needed a new purple for sure. So, because their best purple, I would have said, probably is Super Vegito and obviously is aged, uh, of course. But anyways, let's jump into what he can do. So, he increases own damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled. Reduces damage received, cannot be cancelled. And minus 10 to Blast Arts cost, cannot be cancelled when battle starts. So, by the way, he's a range type as well. Uh, and this is insane. Increase allies tag fusion warrior god key or future damage inflicted and key recovery when this character switches to standby. He's a support type unit as well. He's a pseudo support unit as well. That is insane. Imagine Vegito Blue being a support unit. And then when he enters battlefield, he increases next blast starts damage inflicted and draws a random card when we have three or fewer cards. Hoping he gets key when he switches in, but we shall see. When a green card is activated, he restores his own key and increases his own card draw speed and inflicts all enemies with no switching. That's all just from his green card upon activation. And then if you do, and he also has blast armor by the way. And if you actually do land the green card, he reduces enemy dragon balls by one and destroys all your enemies' special arts cards. So basically, he destroys all their green cards. Would have just been better just to destroy all their cards in general, but hey, I mean, and the green card, just this first part alone is already good enough, so I'll take that. And then a Z ability at level 3, so I'll say 6 stars, increases tag fusion warrior or tag god key or future blast attack and strike defense. A character with heavy single attacks and great combo potential, obviously like the previous Vegito Blue, so yeah, he seems quite good. I'm definitely quite excited for this guy. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this godly art like look at that arm look at the aura like just look at it like it looks so insane like i don't know how legends like they always like they somehow make their card arts look better every time i don't know how all right anyways enough admiring his card art he's a red unit he's a melee type and when defeated, increased allies damage afflicted and inflicts all enemies at attribute downgrade, minus one to arts card draw speed level, and inflicts all enemies at attribute downgrade, reduces health restoration. So he basically gives death buffs when he dies, and also he 
debuffs the enemy as well, so it's a neat ability. He also has a special cover change against Strike Arts attacks, and every time he uses a Strike or Blast Arts card, he increases his own damage and foot this, so he basically gets stronger for every Strike and Blast he uses, so that's a nice ability. And then the following effects occur according to enemy actions while this character is on the battlefield. So whenever the enemy lands a Strike or Blast Arts on him, he reduces the enemy's key and he reduces own damage received, so he takes less damage the longer the combo goes and also reduces their key. So that is super annoying. And then when the enemy switches, he restores his own vanish game drive 50%, activates eight times. So it's very reminiscent to LF Broly. And then when an enemy is defeated, except by self-destruct, destroys all your enemy's cards. That is so, like this guy's gonna be annoying to fight against. Just like the previous Mazu uh, from last year, they did a similar approach to him that they just made him a super annoying character to fight against. This guy definitely, uh follows that theme as well. And then Z ability at level 3, so I was at 6 stars. Keep in mind that he is an LF unit, so it's not going to be the easiest thing to get into 6 stars. But he does buff God Key, powerful opponent, and future strike attack and defense. I don't know exactly about how much, but we shall see. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, there is uh, one more thing we do have to talk about. The end here. Um, <clears throat> they thought they could be slick. They thought they could slick revealing this uh, certain character right here. I'll just... I'll let the audio play for this, you know, for a little bit. Why not? Uh, so, anyways, let us watch this. Yeah, that looked uh, pretty nice, <laughs> obviously. So, so indeed, we are getting the boy Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's finally coming to the game. I think it was pretty, you know, obvious that he was coming for third year anniversary since they were pushing GT out of nowhere. And then also, like, with all these other Fusion Warriors, you might as well just finish it off with the last Fusion Warrior that hasn't been released yet from the like original series. So obviously Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is coming. They don't reveal any details about him, uh, but he looks epic. Like uh, this is, uh, look at this man. Like, oh man, okay. I can't wait for him. Okay, I am so excited. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about all the stuff they revealed. I'm definitely uh, quite excited for the anniversary. Obviously, the stuff they revealed, I think, was uh, quite, you know, interesting. It was definitely good. And it's nice. We're going to be getting a raid event. Last year, like five weeks, definitely a ton of content. Obviously, the characters seem like they're going to be quite good. And obviously, they're quite hype characters. Maybe not so much for the Shadow Dragons, but I mean, it is what it is. Also, I do want to mention tomorrow night, I'll probably be doing a breakdown on the actual characters when the data download hits, because I'm assuming they're going to be doing maintenance uh, tomorrow night, and which will include all these new characters as well as all the new events and all that. So, your boy will be doing a breakdown video covering the new characters, the events, and all that. So, if you want to stay tuned for that, make sure to sub to the channel and hit the notification bell so never miss out on upload. God, why am I like this? Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed for it nonetheless. Next video I'll be uploading actually in like 20 minutes, uh, Daily Reset will hit Legends and I'll actually be uh, farming up the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the free one, and doing a video on him. So pretty much right after this, I'm going to have to uh, record and edit another video. So that's fun. So anyways, hope you guys stay tuned for that video, I guess. And also the breakdown video I'm going to be doing later on tomorrow night as well stay tuned for the third anniversary content i'll be doing summons as well as i'll be doing uh showcases for all the new units as well so make sure to stay tuned for that obviously and yeah anyways i think i'm about to hop off and start you know editing this video to get it out so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one